What's up, y'all? Jay here. Welcome back. If you're a repeat offender, if it's your first time, so glad you found me. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, the notification bell. You'll get updated every time there's new content released. This video is going to be talking about connecting this radar converter box, which is stunning, to that or any other computer using this. Dead simple. Amazing, like really amazing sound. But enough of the fluff. Let's get into it. Come on. For this demonstration, I'm using my 500 rack unit. I also have the converter box loaded with 16 channels of converter cards from Radar. They are both outstanding. Gonna need two Ethernet cables. And I'm using the Audinate. Dante Avio two-channel USB I.O. adapter. It's about 130 bucks or so at Sweetwater.com. Check the link for the description. You'll also need DB25 connectors to communicate with the in and out of the analog section of the radar converter box. Let's spin this thing around and I'll show you how to connect it. So here we are at the rear of the unit. This is my 500 rack unit. It is connected via DB25. So the front end of your choice will go into the input of the DB25s. And if you wanted to direct monitor, you could come out the output of the DB25s of the converter box into say a headphone amplifier, console, mixer, some sort of monitoring solution. And you can direct monitor uh, from that. Port A, which is the lower port, gets plugged in. Just like this, port A goes directly to the ethernet port of your computer, whether it's laptop, desktop, Mac, PC, doesn't matter. Port B gets connected to the Avio dongle. Click, ready to go. This particular one is a USB, standard USB, and this gets connected via USB to your computer. Here we are at oddnate.com. There'll be a link in the description. You come to the landing page and depending on your OS, you'll scroll down here and you'll click on Dante controller. And whether you're using Mac or Windows, you will download the appropriate download and install the software. I'm going to go in and open Dante Controller, which is all I need to open to use my devices. I have already connected the devices, both the Avio USB dongle and the radar converter box. I'm going to click on this. It opens. It is populating the devices currently. Just give it a few minutes. It will kick on and add it to here. Oh, there we go. It just popped up. Now the reason this comes up as green is because I already have this installed. So all you would do is select, let me open everything up. The input is the one and two channel of the radar converter box. Because it's a two-channel device, it's also a 48K, 24-bit USB dongle. So what I'm going to do now, since I see both my devices, my routing is correct, I could unselect that. You would literally just select it. Boom, it's green. You're good to go. Clicking on Devices. Go to Device View. Just be certain that your devices are synced as far as their bit rate, if you'll see here, I'm gonna go into configuration tab, device configuration. You can see the name here. You could customize that if you wish. Uh, I don't find a need for it. You'll see the default sample rate on the dongle is 48K because that's what it does. So you go into the radar converter view. You could change this, but you can only record up to 48K with this particular dongle. So I make sure it's the same. So both devices are the same, 48K, 48K. Go to your DAW of choice in this circumstance. It's just gonna be Studio One 3 for me. It's just one of many I use. This is just for a demonstration. 
Let's go in here. I'll show you that it, it is available now. Currently, I'm using the Motu M2 as my capture device. But if I open this up, you'll see the Dante USB I.O. is available. It's just that simple. Now, with this particular dongle, you have two channels, one and two, left and right is input, and it simultaneously outputs one and two for monitoring. So the Avio works wonderfully for two-channel recording, low-latency recording, or on your master bus uh, for punch-ins for much bigger projects. I will be showing you a video of how to access all 16 channels for analog mixing uh, and recording uh, and in a future video, so keep an eye out for that. You don't want to miss that. You can get the radar converter box at such retailers like uh, Westlake Audio, Dell Pro Audio, but look in the description below for a full list of those retailers. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. If you've never heard of Radar, you should really do yourself a favor and check them out. They are absolutely stunning. I've been a longtime Radar user. You should really do yourself a favor and check it out if you're in pursuit of the best possible sound you could get. Check the links below for links to the products that I used, where I got it, a link to the Audinet page. There's lots of resources on there for you, training videos, all sorts of free stuff. You can get certified for free there. It's really amazing. Shout out to Radar Recording for making extraordinary gear. Shout out to Sweetwater, which is where I get most of my gear. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, know that you're loved and appreciated. Be kind to one another and do the right thing. Always. Till next time.